Where exactly did you go? Well, I, my time in the military, I was able to visit 26 different countries on five continents, but my major duty assignments were in Camp Casey, Korea. I spent three and a half years in Japan. It would be four years, but of course six months of that was in the uh, Persian Gulf. And then, uh, of course, I already talked about being in Central and South America for the counter-narcotics deployment. Do you remember arriving and what it was like? Arriving where? At all these places. Um, well, my first uh, overseas tour was, of course, Camp Casey, Korea. And that was my very first time being in a foreign country. And I still remember the sign that was printed across the doorway to the dining facility. I said, <laughs> said, you're not in Kansas anymore. And that pretty much is the way we felt because for a lot of us, it was our first time being overseas, being in a foreign country, and really didn't know what to expect. But over the course of, of serving in Korea, we got, got used to being in a foreign country, got used to experiencing uh, this foreign, corn, foreign culture there in Korea. And I, I really enjoyed uh, being overseas so much that when I had the chance of choosing my orders in the Navy, well, I chose to go to a ship in Japan. It was the, the Vandegrift. So I was already used to, to being in a foreign country at that point, so I just uh, picked it up where I went on. But after that, each new place that I went to was an entirely new experience. I got the chance to meet whole bunch of interesting people like, like being in Bahrain, I went to Jordan, went to India, went to Australia a couple times, went to uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, of course numerous places in South America like Panama, Colombia, uh, Curacao is a small island out there in the Pacific, or in the, uh, in the Caribbean, and just a, a tremendous number of places that I got to go and experience and meet a whole bunch of interesting people and experience their culture. It was a very wonderful experience for me. Were there many casualties in your unit or ship? Well, no. On our ship, there was no casualties during the actual deployment. We did have a pilot from the aircraft carrier that we were with. It was the USS Kitty Hawk, which is now, now decommissioned, I believe but they had a pilot that was shot down over Iraq. But there was one sailor firm from our crew that, uh, that passed away afterwards, after we got home from the deployment. Unfortunately, he died from, from medical-related causes, and that really hit some of us really well because he was the friendliest guy on board the ship and made friends with everybody. So when he uh, passed away really, really suddenly, it, it really hit a lot of us pretty hard. Tell me about a couple of your most memorable, memorable experiences. Well, I want to come up with some, some positive experiences and I can come up with a, a number of experiences like taking a tour of Petra, Jordan, the rock city that was carved into the, the the side of the sandstone mountains, and that was a wonderful experience. Things like climbing Mount Mount Fuji, and, and but I also have to talk about some negative things that that happened, like in the Gulf. I was a I was a machine gun operator, and I it's my job to protect the ship if we ever came under attack. And one time we came very very close because. This guy, well, he started approaching the ship. I had to make a decision. I couldn't just fire on board this, this boat without orders, but I was prepared to do that to defend the ship. Didn't know what to do except for continue monitoring, see if they, they had any weapons, didn't see any weapons. Fortunately enough, 
he saw the weapon pointed at me and this, this crazy guy standing behind the machine gun, and he decided to turn the ship at the turn his boat at the last moment and start to go in the other direction. But it was that type of, uh, when you're prepared to take that type of, type of action, even if it doesn't happen, it's, it still ends up affecting you. Tell us about the awards and medals and, and citations you were given. Well, let me see. See if I can remember some of them that I was awarded. Okay, uh, Army Achievement Medal, I was awarded that in Fort Hood, Texas. I was involved in, with the unit called uh, Task Force 21. This was uh, 4th Infantry Division. Basically, we were first started to experiment with new computer technology that they were now it is commonplace in the in the army and in the navy. It was brand new back then. We were the first ones to test it out. I got uh, well three good conduct medals: two from the navy and one for the, for the army. Uh, National Defense Service Medal is for when you're um, serving in the military during a time of war. And I got two of those. Basically, I got one from the the Gulf War era because I enlisted just at the end of the time period where they were still awarding these these medals, like the graduating, the, the boot camp class that came right after us, after we graduated, didn't get that medal, but we did. And of course, the second one came after 9-11, when they reissued that war again. A couple of these are War on Terrorism uh, Service Medals, the Korea Defense Service Medal, uh, Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal, and the Rack Campaign Medal. Also got some of these awards that are only the ribbons, the Navy Commendation Medal was awarded to the USS Vandegrift during our Gulf War deployment. Uh, this one with the, the gold frame around it, that, that was for the Task Force 21 uh, Unit Award. That's the uh, Army Spirit Unit Award. Uh, the Navy E-Ribbon, that's an uh, annual competition between Navy ships, and we were the USS Ford was awarded that in uh, 2000, I believe. And of course, I got. The Sea Service Deployment Ribbon, I have five of those, <laughs> I've said sea for so long. Uh, our Army Service Ribbon, this is a Navy Overseas Service Ribbon, and I've got four of those for all four of my, my years I was in Japan slash the Persian Gulf. And my one Army Overseas Service Ribbon. This is the Coast Guard Special Operations Ribbon that the USS Ford was awarded for our counter narcotics deployment. And these are two martial ship ribbons, one for the rifle one for the pistol. Of course these are the patches I wore when I was in the Army. I was the first in the Second Armored Division at Fort Hood, Texas, but they disbanded Second Armored Division, which upset some of us because this is a really, really famous division. General Patton was once in command of that division. They switched that to the Fourth Infantry Division, which is this this diamond shaped one with the with the clovers in it. This is a second infantry division where I was assigned in Korea. Uh, 